Hello everyone, my name is Akar. I'm a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. This work was done together with co-primary author Diana Zhang, who is now at John Hopkins, Munir at Bosch, Charlie, Ashwin, Anthony and Swarun all at Carnegie Mellon. Let's consider a practical use case of setting up depth imaging infrastructure over a large area such as a construction site. This could be to identify unwanted objects such as cars from entering restricted perimeters. For this, what we need is a high resolution 3D image of the environment to tell us where the unwanted object is and what the unwanted object is. We can achieve this by setting up security cameras in the environment and leveraging wide baseline stereo vision to do a high resolution depth imaging. However, in this work, we are interested in asking the question, what does it take to build a single vantage point solution that can be mounted anywhere very easily with minimal calibration, but still obtain high resolution depth images at long ranges? One option is to use a single camera and do monocular depth estimation on top of this. This works reasonably well at short ranges, but we see problems at longer ranges. A car, which is at 60 meters, is detected somewhere to be around 40 meters with tens of meters of error. Another option could be LiDAR. While LiDAR is accurate, the performance of LiDAR is very much dependent on the object reflectivity, object orientation, and ambient sunlight. Here, you can see that the front of the car, without a license plate, stops being detected at very short ranges compared to the rear of the car with the license plate. So in this work, we are interested in building a depth imaging solution that uses something beyond LiDAR um, to work at longer ranges without making any assumptions about uh, the object reflectivity, orientation, and presence or absence of ambient sunlight. So we start from uh, the equivalence of LiDAR and other worlds such as the radio frequency world, where radars have been used for um, long range accurate depth estimation over hundreds of meters in lots of applications such as cruise control vehicles. So radars do find a place in long range depth imaging, but we are interested in depth imaging, not just a depth estimate, not just one number for one object, but the entire depth variation across the entire object. So we are naturally interested in this other term beyond accuracy called angular resolution. Cameras are good at angular resolution, but radars are orders of magnitude poor compared to cameras. So from this table, we can see that radar is good at places where cameras are not, and cameras are good at places where radars are not. So how can we use this information to build a depth imaging solution more effectively? So we propose a solution, Metamodan, which is a combination of millimeter wave radar and camera and uses the best of both the worlds to obtain a superior single vantage point long range depth imaging solution. We call it Metamoran because uh, in the Dragon Ball Z world, uh, the Goku learns the fusion technique from the Metamoran people. So how do we go about this fusion? Intuitively, camera provides azimuth and elevation information and radar provides the depth information. So first we can detect the car or the object of interest, find its angular spans in the azimuth and the elevation plane, and look at those angles in the radar image. All the detected points within those angles are part of the object, and we can call it as the accurate depth profile that you obtain, and this is the depth image at short ranges. At short ranges, it's totally fine, but at long ranges, we have a problem again. So we have the car detected and go through the same steps in the radar image and make a detection. But this is the wrong detection because it is actually detecting some artifacts which arise from strong clutter sources such as the building. So at long ranges, the target's signature is very weak and the entire signal is dominated by strong clutter sources. This is even more challenging in when the clutter is static such as the building is static and the object is also static such as a parked car. So naive fusion actually leads to wrong detections. Our core contribution is to tackle this challenge by making use of camera information and to detect objects robustly even in clutter. At a high level, we first perform image segmentation and monocular depth estimation on the camera image and obtain an approximate 3D shape of the object. This is approximate because monocular depth estimation can make huge errors in the absolute depth estimation, but it still captures the depth variation across an object such as a car. So we extract this depth variation and call it a contour. 
Our objective now is to find where this contour is in the entire radar image. So the key idea that we use is that clutter is not shaped like the contour and only our object is shaped like the contour in the radar image. So we transform this contour to a radio frequency, a contour template and do a correlation across the entire radar image or in places where we believe that the car can lie and wherever the place is maximized, we make our object detection in spite of heavy clutter. We also do a couple of other things in the paper uh, which makes use of camera information to suppress clutter before we do the object detection and we also make use of camera information to create a higher resolution depth image uh, than the one which we already have at the end of detection. We next show our end-to-end -end system results in contrast to monocular and naive fusion. Clearly, we can see from this CDF that metamoran is superior to monocular and naive fusion. All the data for this was collected at long ranges. We find that the median performance of metamoran is like 28 centimeters at these kinds of ranges, which is 13x better than naive fusion and 23x better than monocular alone. In conclusion, we present metamoran. Uh, Metamoran is a millimeter wave radar and camera fusion system for single vantage point, high resolution, long range depth imaging. In building the system, we leverage information from camera to help the radar understand where the true objects are amidst all the clutter, to help suppress the clutter and also create high resolution depth images. We evaluate our system at long ranges of 100 to 300 meters. And finally, all the resources pertaining to this project can be found in this URL. Thank you for listening.